season for Alejandro Garnacho. Mason Mount is injured. Maguire and... This one game we all circled in the diary. Str against Liverpool. Three seasons. I would like that. Rashford. McAllister and out by Van Dijk. Manchester United. Here comes Bruno Fernandes. Sexy. Here's Chotto. His first sight of goal of the day. But he never... Angle. Diaz. Following up was Alexander-Arnold. He thought it was over the line. And yes, the referees. And it's another early Liverpool goal at Old Trafford. In a big game against Liverpool, it's just... I'm just, just really disappointed that United didn't turn up. Blessed love viewers and subscribers, welcome back to the channel. Today was a lovely day and tomorrow will even be better. So let us be glad and be thankful as the day progresses. My beautiful people, today we want to talk about Galchester United. <clears throat> Gyal Chester United, aka Manchester United. Manchester United, the one of the most disgraceful team in the Premier League, and it takes a great deal to say that. Why? Because I'm a Man United fan. But the truth has to be spoken. Man United now go with nothing. As Jamaicans would say, you're not going not, not not going for your brethren. Man United is the real the worst brethren. Worse. Man United play Liverpool today. And as you know, Man United and Liverpool is the two top Premier League clubs in Britain. Man U, Liverpool. There's no one else. If I know Man U is Liverpool. If I know Liverpool, it's Man United. No matter where you see no other team I go with, no, no Arsenal, no Man City, no Chelsea, no Newcastle, no Brighton, no Tottenham, none of them. The two top club is Liverpool and Manchester United. Alright? So, Man United play Liverpool today at Old Trafford and last. 3 0. He says Manchester United have suffered successive defeats in the Premier League after a disappointing 3 0 loss to Liverpool. The Red Devils face their biggest test of the season so far on Sunday afternoon and feel, feel bridging. Eric Ten Hag. It should have been Eric Nine Hag or Eight Hag or Six Hag. Not him or not ten. Eric Ten Hag sides actually started brightly and put the visitors under the huge pressure. But they lost control and, and things turned sour quickly after Luis Diaz opened the scoring. Diaz doubled Liverpool's lead just minutes before the break and continued their onslaught after the break. Mohamed Salah added to Liverpool's lead just short of the hour mark and from then on, there was no way back for United. Three seasons out like that. Rashford. McAllister and out by Van Dijk. Manchester United. Here comes Bruno Fernandes. Sexy. Here's Chotto. His first sight of goal of the day. But he never. Angle. Diaz. Following up was Alex 
Alexander Arnold. He thought it was over the line. And yes, the referees. And it's another early Liverpool goal at Old Trafford. So here's my critique now. <laughs> Yo, General Minati, the lifestyle. It's, it's very painful to watch Man United. So, may I say this? And I'm going to say this loud and clear. You know what I mean? And I'm sure when I'm saying this, I'm speaking for every Liverpool, every, sorry, every Manchester United fan across the United States, across Canada, across Jamaica, across the Caribbean, across Europe, and the entire UK. I'm saying this on behalf of every Manchester United fan. Now, last season, after Manchester finished so badly and done so badly in the Premier League, we are regardless they win the FA Cup. I, I thought it was the players who were not good enough. But I come to realization for this match, it's not the players it's to be blamed, it's the manager. Eric Ten Hag, Eric Nine Hag, Eric Eight Hag, Eric Six Hag. I think Manchester United should sack this guy and let him go and get another manager, a different manager, a proper manager. You understand? Eric Ten Hag, he's too soft. Manchester United not do soft managers, brother. You want Manchester United need managers like a Pep Guardiola. Somebody similar to, to, to Sir Alex Ferguson. Manager will not, will not, will not suck up to players. Manager will not kiss players' ass. Managers will take off them boot and slap players on them face with it. As you see, David Beckham can tell the tales. I tell you too, Safim cannot get the best out of the players. You need managers who can drill players and get the best out of the player. Them look for instance, Sanjo. He was at Man United, never that play so well. He went to um, Barca Dortmund and loan. Did well, came back to United and start fumble again. You understand? There are a few players at Man United who needs to go. Harry Maguire. You need to go, bruv. You, you, you finish. Your playing efforts are finish. You're not good again. Literally not, not good anymore. Harry Maguire. You need to go, Bridget. I think, I think Casimiro needs to go. Yes, Casimiro, he needs to go, brother. Them two goals at Liverpool scored, your fault. Your fault, Bridget. You need to go. You're not good again, Casimiro. No, sir. Mm -mm. You're not good again. The goalkeeper, Manchester United goalkeeper. That's a big girl in the goal there. That man is not good, you know? Yo, United fans, start to me. Quick and fast. The goalkeeper good. Goalkeeper not good. The goalkeeper has not impressed not even one time since he came to Man United. He's not good. Period. Not good. He's not good enough for United. I don't know what was the hype surrounding when he was coming to Man United. This hype surrounding him and like he was the best thing since Peter Shilton. He's not good. He's not good. Far from good. The guy is far. Like far, 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 far away from good. Manchester United, no goalkeeper. He's not good. Anna, he's not good. He's not ready. He cannot read the game. And once a goalkeeper cannot read the game, him is no good. You supposed to stop at the goal and read the big and know where 
where your ball is going to go. The goal that they score him today shouldn't score. He's not good. He's not really game. He's an illiterate. He needs to go and get back David there or a better goalkeeper. He's not good, man. Piro, come on. Chano, All right. The, the manager sell the guy, um, Tommy. Tommy, whatever his name is. Can't remember. Shouldn't sell him. And he might buy some player away. He, he, he buy some player away. Probably look good by the books. But on the pitch. They don't, they, don't have, they don't have to on the pitch. The guy I think they should have bought is the guy from Brenton. From 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 Brent. Why should I mean Brent? Brent my team name. Brenton. Not Brighton. You know what I mean? That that Tony guy. That guy, he reminds me of Danny Welbeck. You see Danny Welbeck, the type of striker he, Danny Welbeck is, he's a guy who can force errors. You need players like those. And the next thing, Manchester United player them need some Carmel Parish, bruv. They need they need Carmel Parish. They're so weak. They are so weak you could you could blow on them like and they fall over. They're very weak. They're not strong. Opponents just bounce them and they fell to the ground. They're too slight. Man U Manchester United farmer players were in slight. Raikin. You're not good. You're not rebel. Raikin was a rebel. Patrice Everard. You know what I mean? The players like them, the um, Cantana, you know what I mean? Ragamuffin players. Play with your car. Get them on the ball so easy, bruv. Paul Scholes. You know what I mean? Ryan Giggs. You can't bounce them on the half of them ball. Are you mad, fam? You see me? These players are too weak. They're too feeble. They're too, they're too feeble. And puny, puny. I mean, they, they come like a girl. I wonder if it's Manchester. Is 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 is. is Galchester United, rather than Manchester United. They, they like these players like their girls. They're too easily. They need firm players, brother. They, they probably going to get um um what's his name? Arsene Wenger. At Man United to 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 teach them about nutrition and how to feed players the right and proper way to make them firm and strong and can stand up on them ball as a man. This player is too slight, bruv. Too slight. The manager is too slight. I mean, he's too slight. United, listen. You better be careful, man. Because you might just get relegated at the end of the season. And the season just started at the end of 14. The season just started. You played how many games? You played three games. You lost two for a top six team. Top four. You lost two games. Look at Brighton. Look at Brighton. I mean, what is wrong with Manchester United? As I said, the manager has no tactics. He don't have no tactics. He don't have no tactics. He don't have no game plan. As always, going to win a game. You have to have game plan, bro. You have to sit down the night before the game. And study your opponents, how they play, and, the, and whoever the manager, his style of playing, and come up with tactics as how you're going to counteract their style and how you're going to win the game. Actually, win the game. You know, you pick some players and send them out, they're going to do what? Nothing. The players in they look like they don't know, not even know where they were. They, they, it's like they, they don't know where they were. The captain, what's his name? Bruno. <laughs> Fernandez, he was last. He was last in the game. Come on, man. I like manager who is stern. I like managers who are very stern. Managers who are very strict. Managers who are not kin teeth. I like managers that who, if a player make an error or a mistake, he, 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 he fret for the rest of the game. He, he, he quickly want to carry that error. Those are the managers you want. I'm Alex Ferguson, a Pep Guardiola, the manager, the like Klopp, who was at Liverpool. You need those type of managers, brother. 
We don't play with players. I don't can make players where you could have big like Maradona. You're not bigger than the club, bruv. And if you don't want to play, there's the door, bruv. Arsenal is playing better than Man United. Man City is playing better. Chelsea is playing better than Man United. The only team probably now playing better than Man United right now is Everton. Everybody is playing better than United. Everybody else is playing better than Man United. Brighton. Even Leicester. <laughs> Yo. I don't know, but you know, if, can, if I can continue to support Man United, not under this condition, I cannot continue to, to waste 90 minutes and match day to watch United. I can't do it anymore. I just can't do it, man. Just can't do it. They need to sack the manager. He needs to go. He's too contented. He have no, no ego to win games. He have no ambition. He has no ambition whatsoever. You understand? Cha -cha. You want to tell me there's no more good managers live in the UK or in Europe? There's no more good managers in Europe where man you can find a good manager, a, a, a manager who is driven by ambition, a manager who is driven by, you know, motivation and and wanting to win a manager who's, who's hungry for success and glory you want to tell me that there's no more managers like that in the uk or in the entire europe i find it hard to believe man i find it very very hard to believe say man united a team like man united manchester united i mean Marino was a good manager with tactics. And there are some games where you have to have a game plan as a manager. Okay, this team here, Liverpool, you know, the rest of them, they play very well. You know what I mean? And you have to know how to play this team. How am I going to win this game? Am I going to attack in full? Or am I going to play counter attack? Or what, how am I going to win this game? Am I gonna part the bus and take off for a jar, being the fact that it's Liverpool? Cause that's what Mourinho would have done, you know. When Mourinho play a big team, is that not so easy to beat? He kind of part the bus, and he will circle for a jar against the big teams and then beat the baby teams. Them, you know what I mean? This manager and his style is boring. This manager and Herrick and him boring. And he needs to go. He needs to leave Manchester United. I don't mind waking up tomorrow morning and hear the news that they sack him. Just give him some money and sack him. Let him go. Otherwise, Manu is going to go right down to South Antam level. That probably be worse. Man, end of the championship. Rashford. Rashford now play nothing. He now play no. He want some strong men in the link. He want good defenders. He want good strikers. The team is not complete. It's not complete. He want strong midfielders who can control the middle. You're a midfielder. Your job is to control the middle. No one get past you in the middle. It's like a security in the middle. You run things. You want people who can tackle. You want people who can run for 90 minutes non-stop. Man, your players don't run. They come like girls. They don't run. They don't tackle. They don't tackle. They don't close down opponent. You don't, sometimes in, sometime in football, when, when we used to play football, our coach, Mr. Tate, used to tell us that. He said, you don't even need to tackle. Like that, like tackle in the sense like you're going to commit a foul. So he told us, sometimes you just need to stay as close as possible to the player where he can't, he can't, almost can't do anything. Just 
over him. Close as close him, close him down, you close him down. These players stand up and allow opponents to take shots at goal, to make passes. <coughs> when I lie, star. <coughs> nah lie. Man United. Man United let me down, let me down, me letting me down. I I'm get so used to Man United losing that it's like the norm. Like I'm surprised when they win. This season for Alejandro Garnacho, Mason Mount is injured, Maguire and... This one game we all circled in the diary, against Liverpool. Three seasons, I'd like that. Rashford, McAllister, and out by Van Dijk, Manchester United. Here comes Bruno Fernandes, sexy, here's Chotto. His first sight of goal of the day, but he never... Angle, Diaz! Following up was Alexander-Arnold! He thought it was over the line! And yes, the referees! And it's another early Liverpool goal at Old Trafford! Like when they beat Fulham in the first game, I was like, really? <laughs> you know what I mean? Did they win? Mm -mm. People, football fans in England, where they live at Bristol, London, wherever you live, man, Manchester United fans, big up on yourself. I understand, but we don't know how much longer you guys can hold on to Man United right, to, to go through them pain, there's, there's weekly pain. The weekly pain. Uh, one time I used to be very excited as the weekend approaches. You know what I mean? I used to be very. No, I'm afraid. When somebody said tomorrow is Saturday, I, I get I get I get scared, man. I say Saturday is Man United playing. I'm gonna keep the TV off. You know what I mean? Gone are the days. Eh? Tomorrow is Saturday. We can't wait. We cannot wait. Tomorrow is Saturday. What time is the game? 11.30. We can't wait. Or if it's Sunday or if it's Monday night football. You understand? When Man United was Man United. When Man United play like champions. Play like players. These players don't have no shame. And they're not ambitious. These Man United players. Eh? They don't have no shame. They don't have no spirit. They don't have no energy. They don't have no fight. In them. Them just dead with it over on the jersey and that's it. Them not them not them not them not they're not proud of the jersey, they're not, they're not hand of the jersey. You know, says it's a privilege to be wearing a Man United jersey. And you should play like Man United and represent and protect the reputation of Man United. They're not doing these things, they're not doing that. It's like they can't wait for the come out and the game finish and they go back at the social media or whatever they, they were doing. They, they, they're not ambitious like the rest of players, man. I, I watch the rest of teams, man, and, and all these players, Brighton players, they look like they're hungry, they wanted it. it don't be surprised if Brighton win the Premier League, they deserved it. Another play, another team, and even though I don't like these teams because they always come up against Man United, and this is what pisses me off. A team like Brighton and Newcastle and, and Wolves and Tottenham and and all them little baby teams, they always come strong against United, wanting to beat United. And United allow it. Rather than show them you to say, yo, no little boy, go sit down, we are the big man on we them United. They don't do that. They just come like a lamb to the slaughter and make all the likes of Brighton beat them and laugh. And and, and 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 Liverpool beat them and laugh. I swear Man United won more Premier League than you than Liverpool. You understood? And it's 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 very 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 sad to even watch the highlights, much less the entire game. It's very sad. It, okay, upsetting, you know what I mean? And it's stressful when when we have no more bragging rights as football is concerned, as Man United fans, we have no more bragging rights.
we can't even talk about the many times we won the Prem. We can't even talk about the many times we won the FA Cup because we haven't won the Prem. We haven't won. The, well, we won the FA Cup last season, but we haven't won the Prem since 2013, bruv. Is that? And that's not a United thing. It's embarrassing and disgraceful. It is disgraceful. And these players walking off, you get 3 nil at home. Imagine, this is why I don't, that's why I say, say, this is where I said, Man United need another manager, a different manager, I need a rough cut manager, I need a manager with a keen teeth, a manager with a, I need a manager when you play them lose a game, if they lose a game, they're afraid to go down the tunnel, they're afraid, they want to just go home. I see Man United get 3 nil at home from Liverpool, and the Man United players are walking off the pitch like, Like they won and they did they did great. I was like, look at these idiots. These football idiots, these 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 football dum-dums walking off when you should be ashamed and disappear in tin years as as as, as the, 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 the the final whistle couldn't come fast enough for you to disappear down the tunnel. You're walking around like you won the game. Come on, silly billies. <laughs> you know what I mean? Clapping hand like you won the game, Man United players. I was like, look at these itty parents, man. Look at these itty parents. You know why I feel so sorry for? It's the fans who, who buy the season tickets and, and, and go to these games day in, day out. We should boycott Man United games, bruv. I, I strongly believe we should boycott. All Man United fans should boycott Man United games. Whether they're playing at home or they're playing away. Because, especially if you have to travel away and go watch United playing away, like, for instance, you traveled all the way from Manchester to go watch United playing in, in London and, and then have to travel back to United, to, to, to Manchester after the loss, that's painful. I, I would have to be in a helicopter to do that, to travel back after traveling, like traveling from Manchester or wherever to, to watch a Man United game in London and lose the game and have to travel back. It's tiring. Tiring. Depressing, bruv. Stressful. Embarrassing. Disgraceful. To go watch a United game. Believe you me, they're not fighting for games. Man United are not fighting for games. They need to fight for games, man. They need to play together. They play with lack of confidence. I don't even see one United player who can pick up the ball in the midfield and hold him ball and look for the most accurate pass or a better pass and, 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 and to maneuver. Not single one of them. Everybody in your boxing ball game, they, they, like they, they are afraid. They, they're, not, they're not confident enough. And if you're not confident, you, you, you've already lost. It's pointless, Bridget. Come on, Manchester United, man. You need to get it together, man. You need to get it together. You're Manchester United. You should play like that. Sick and tired, man. Sick and tired of, 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 of having to watch Man United last a game. Sick and tired, Bridget. Jeez, man. Viewers and subscribers, big up on yourself, my beautiful people, all my football fans and people who love football, love the Premier League, love Manchester United. Big up on yourself, Bridget. Because that's all, all the thing we can answer right now is big up on yourself and, and hope we see better in the near future rather sooner than later. You understand, my beautiful people? And that's it for today, my beautiful people. That's it. That's, that, I just want to say that. I just want to say that so this the the, the, the um it might reach the the board, the higher heads at the club and they look into this and, and say, you know what, we have to do something before something do us. We can need to do something before something do us. You understand? 
because it, it would be a day and three quarter if at the end of the season Man U has been relegated and head up back in the championship. It will be, be a day and three quarter, my beautiful people. I'm telling you, it's going to be a sad day for football and a sad day for football fans, Manchester United football fans, and a sad day for Manchester United as well. You understand, people? Now, if you agree with me, my beautiful people, you can sound up in the comment box and let me hear your views. All right? So, big up for yourself. We know we love you all the time. All the time. We love you, people. We give thanks for the eye them watching and keep watching. We give thanks for the support. Keep supporting. Please remember to like, comment, and to share, and to subscribe. You know what I mean? And big up on the beautiful self. And so, until next time, be true to yourself and each other.